It's your boy, Money Boy Flacco, and we keep it a honcho. And I ain't coming with a reaction. I ain't coming with a song. I'm coming with a story time. You dig what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, as y'all can see by the title, this story time is going to be on how I got scammed out of a thousand two hundred. Damn, that's a lot, ain't it? Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no... Shit hurt, but um, basically I'm gonna give y'all the rundown of the story. I'm gonna be a little vague because it is serious, you know and shit. It is serious, so I'm be a little vague. But basically, I'm gonna start the story. So I'm gonna start out because it was my when it when it happened, it was my last day of working at the last job I was working at, which was a uh, car wash. And before I even start the story, time. I hope y'all learn from my mistakes that I'm finna tell y'all. This is basically gonna be a life lesson, like a learning lesson. You dig what I'm saying? Like, also for me, you know what I mean? I learned from this. I learned from these mistakes. I'm gonna do the same stuff that I did to get in that situation again. But um, but um, all right, let's get to the story. So basically, it was my last day at this job that I was working at, and this job. The reason why this job is gonna be in this story time because, like, you know, it, it's important in the story. It's not the most important thing, but it's a part of the story. So basically, it was my last day at the job, and I say it was my last day because I wasn't, I didn't fuck with the, the bosses I worked for. They didn't treat, they treat their employees like shit. You know what I mean? Like they treat, but they treat niggas like they was retarded and shit, and like shit like that. And I wasn't fucking with that shit, and it was unprofessional. That was really the main reason why I left. Cause I don't really care about, I mean, I care about bosses being dickheads, but I can kind of like work through that shit. But it's like when you start fucking with my money and shit, bro, like. Cause that's the whole point I'm working, bro, is to make this money. So like, yeah, bro, shit was, shit was whack. So basically, what was going on that day? You know, boss was like talking that shit, being rude, bro. I was supposed to get paid that day. Niggas get their paychecks in the morning. That's how it's supposed to work. Direct deposit. Which I didn't get because this job, like, is no point in setting up for direct deposit because you never get your direct deposit. And you never get your check on time. So, uh, basically what was going on this day, um, my money was late. They was being rude as hell. And my money was already late, so I was getting pissed off. And, uh, basically it happened, like, it was the fourth time this shit happened. So, I was like, damn, after I get my last check, bro, I'm, I'm like, I'm probably done with this shit. And it was a pretty cool job, I'm not gonna lie, like, let alone, like, the bullshit and disrespect. Just cause you um you make cash every day, and you know and you get a check, and I say you get cash every day cause of tips. Cause oh yeah, I worked at a car wash. If y'all didn't know, I worked at a car wash. That was my last job, and uh, yeah, I was working there for like probably like um, two months, and like shit was cool, bro. You make money every day, bro. You just gotta save up them chips, bro. And that's what I was doing, bro. I was saving up them coins, bro, and. I ain't gonna lie, so, like, throughout that day, I, I got towards the end of the day. And not, not even towards the end of the day, I think it was lunch break. And I was still asking, like, where's the money at? Like, <laughs> I said, where's my, where, like, where my money? Where my cash at, bro? Where my, where my check? And basically, like, you know, he gave me a run around, they give me an attitude, talking about, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I, I hate when I'm asking about something, like, I got, I'm, I'm entitled to, and I got the right to be entitled to it. And they, and like, you know, niggas be disrespectful, but like, you know, fuck them niggas. I don't, I don't associate with them niggas no more. If they watch this video, then they know it's fucked them. But, um, basically, so the way the, um, shit was set up, the bank was like right by the job. And like, basically, I guess like he gets like, way he pays people because it's a family company and shit is ran by him and his like, um, brother and shit. So when he like, even when he do the checks and the deposit, like it comes out his company account. So like. Basically, like, um, what he had did when I got on lunch break, he went and, like, manually got the money out of his account, which is, like, unprofessional in my opinion. Put the, like, cash got put in an envelope. I got my pay stub, and he gave me the cash. But I was already fed up, bro, so, like, took that cash. I was like, all right. Y'all said we on lunch break. I'm going on my lunch break. So I went on my lunch break, and I wasn't planning on coming back. Yeah. So I had my tip money, I had my last paycheck, and what I did was, what I always really do on lunch break, I was trying to find me something to eat, but I had time today, so I went back to, towards like where I lived at, 
And I went to, I think I went to McDonald's or Wendy's or some shit. It was like one of them two. I don't even think I got nothing too much because like, I feel like, yeah, I don't think I got too much when I went to go get something to eat. Like it was probably a little bit because I don't even remember. So basically I went to McDonald's or whatever, or Wendy's. And I was like, let me go ahead. Because the way I am, like, I don't like to, like, really have cash on me unless, like, I need cash to particularly buy something. So I usually try to keep money in my account, which is the safest thing to do, to, in my opinion. So, like, I I was trying to make my way to the drive through ATM. I'm not going to tell you what bank I bank with. No, it's not important. But basically, I went to the drive through ATM. And mind you, before I go to this ATM, let me tell y'all, like, the red flags I was kind of making. So, my, I was going to that ATM to deposit all the cash. I had all the tips and my check. And mind you, it wasn't even a check because he gave it to me in all cash, which was stupid. He gave it to me in all cash. It was like, I'm going to estimate, like, I had like at least $300 in cash on me at that particular time. All right. So, basically, I think, yeah, yeah, I was on the way to the ATM. But, um, mind you, this is the red flags I had because I had at least $300 on me. And... That's not just a little bit of money, honestly. I mean, it might be a little bit of money to some people, but at the time, like, all that cash, like, it wasn't just a little bit of money. So, basically, I had all that on me. But, my, I'm not, like, flaunting it out of the car, so, like, I don't think niggas are supposed to know that I got that on me. But, like I said, if you go into an ATM, bro, make sure you know your surroundings, bro. Make sure people following you or not. You dig, you dig what I'm saying? So basically, I get to the ATM. When I get to the ATM, it's two people in front of me, like two cars in front of me. And when I get behind them two cars, like four more cars hurry up and pop up behind me. Because mind you, it's like lunchtime for everybody. So like, I'm guessing everybody's trying to get cash out, trying to go to the bank. You know, you dig what I'm saying? Like normal shit. But it's just a lot going on at that time. Like it was packed out there in the parking lot. Like packed. So, you know, time go by, time go by. I get to the ATM. And then when I get to the ATM, basically, uh... Shit, I try to put my money in there like, like a dumbass. Like, and now the reason I say that's a dumbass shit, cause like, honestly, I think if you put in that much cash and depositing it in your account, but basically, um, if you're gonna pull up, if you're gonna deposit that much cash, you should honestly go inside the bank and do that because it's, it's people like around you see you, like putting in like a a wad of cash, like a, like thick wad of cash into like a machine. You're a target, bro, because they're gonna think that you're having it, even if you don't have it like that. Like that, that's your only three hundred dollars. Niggas gonna think that you're having it, bro. So, basically, that's the dumb mistake I made. But mind, I'm thinking it's gonna be a quick process. So, I try to put the cash in there, and not me not knowing that like sometimes a machine can't take that much, so it's gonna spit it back out. And shit, it did that, and when it spit it back out. I was over there trying to, like, I wasn't, like, counting, like, but I'm over here trying to count it, like, you know, like, you know, to make sure, like, when you put it in the machine, like, it's depositing in the right amount, because sometimes the machine won't count all the money. So, as I'm doing that, you know, I'm chilling, mind my own business, this fucking, uh, this, um, dreadhead nigga come out of nowhere, bro. Nigga had, like, face tattoo right here. Like, basically, bro, like, basically had a description of a nigga that you should just drive away from, bro. But I don't know why I wasn't thinking because it was too much going on, bro. And I was just, I don't know. So basically, he came out to the car, bro. He was asking me, like, um, he asked me some shit like, yo, can I deposit this, like, 400 right quick, bro? I got to um, I got, I got to send it to my mom, bro. got to send it to my mom and shit. So, like, I was like, um, shit, all right, uh, yeah, that's cool, bro. Well, I, I didn't even say that's cool. First, I was kind of questioning it. I was like, shit, I got some shit to do, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can't, mm, not even trying to do all that. And then he was like, uh, nah, nah, bro. It'll be quick, bro. It'll be quick, like, and shit like that. And now I'm just like, you even have the, like, cash, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know why I asked that. But basically, the nigga had, like, a check. And that's where I really fucked up. Don't trust any nigga putting a check in your account. No matter what the circumstances is. Unless, like, you really cool with that nigga and it's a business, it's some business, bro. Don't let any nigga do that shit, bro. Don't let any nigga do that shit. What well, duh? So, basically, I'm just like, I'm thinking in my head, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, at that point in time, it was so much shit going on. I was like, bro, I'm just trying to get this nigga to 
walk away from my car. So if that's all he needs, bro, shit, shit, fuck it. But me not thinking, bro, like, it can be a bad check, bro. So keep that in mind. Keep that part of the story in mind. So basically, he do that. And then uh, he and then he waiting on me. He like, oh, you finna uh, you you finna send it, you finna send it. And then I was like, uh, what did I say? I was like, bro, I didn't come up in my account yet. So mind you, I'm thinking like, oh he, yeah, all right, so it must be like a badass check. Like that shit didn't even pop up yet. So I'm telling him like, I gotta wait for that shit to update, bro. So mind, I guess this shit went through somehow by like, cause it came up on my phone. Like came, it gave me the updated balance. So I was like, I got the notifications. So I was like, damn. <laughs> I said, damn. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was hoping that shit did not work, bro. So I can just drive off, bro. But like, basically, I was like, which I should have drove off anyway. But I was like, oh, I was like, oh, damn, that shit went through. So, goddamn, I got on my cash app. And, um, he, I think he told me the name and I sent it. Boom. Thinking everything done. Nigga, get back in his car. Yeah, you get back in his car and shit. So, uh, basically, when you got back in his car, it's still. I think it's like five or six people behind me now. So, mind you, I'm getting a little pressure, bro. I'm like, let me hurry up and do what I got to do so I can get to the crib. So, I'm over there trying to count my money again, bro. Put it in there. I don't know why I'm still trying to put this thick wad of cash in there. That's not going to... It's not going to eat it. Really, nigga? <laughs> it's not going to eat it. <laughs> the bank not going to eat the money up, bro. Like, it's going to spit it back out, bro. So, basically, like, shit. I, I tried that again. And I don't know if the dude, like pick that up bro and he was like yo this nigga probably like he got probably got like a lot of cash or some shit so he came back up to me he was like uh yo bro can i um deposit like he said can i uh send three thousand years later oh yeah he said which he said something about like he had to send more money bro and i was like uh okay like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really trying to do all that, bro. Like really, my I think my bank account fucked up. Cause my shit, not even taking the money. My, I try to lie and shit like that and try to like cap. But then this nigga looked and said, Nah, bro, you just putting too much money in there. And that shit made me so mad when he did that, bro. Cause I was just like, Bro, this nigga's fucking pocket watching, bro. So I'm just like, All right, bro, let me just uh, let me just chill and let me try to like find a way to get out of this situation. Cause at this point, I kind of know shit is looking sketchy. But at the same time, like, you got to think like this, bro. Like, I don't know what Buddy had on him. He seemed too confident and persistent. So I was just like, shit, bro. Like, I don't want to, like, just make, like, a risky move. And, like, I did want to pull up. But it, my, I ain't going to lie. It was cars in front of me, bro. That's probably another reason that would stop me. I was kind of blocked off, like, on some shit, bro. Like, I was literally trapped. So, like, even if I was to drive, I would kind of have to wait. I would literally push up a little bit. And then, I'll be like, anytime now, traffic. And then go. Like, it wasn't no straight shot. And then people was behind me, bro. So, I couldn't just back up either. So, my, he doing all that, bro. I, I tried to make another excuse. I was like, shit, I'm probably going to go to another ATM then. Like, it's getting too busy over here, bro. Like, and shit like that. And, um, shit. I'm just, okay. Scrap, like. Still think that he deposited, like, just bear with me. Still think that he deposited the first check when he first came to the car, but I'm going to say he deposited another check, but I don't remember another deposit. That's the thing. I don't remember another deposit. But let's say he did that. So that's the only reason why I went over there to park, because I think he deposited another, like, check. Oh, no, no, no. I know what he did. He deposited, it for, like, $40 more. Dollars. That's what it was. He deposited $40 more, dollars and he was like, if I could, um, you know, send it. So I'm thinking, like, all right, bro, do we got the money, bro? It's whatever, bro. I'm just trying to help a nigga out. And before, like, I even go... Right, it's crazy. Before I even go to the park situation, where I drove over there to park. The sob story he was giving me, bro, talking about, oh, he had to bond somebody out and shit, bro. Because, like, at first, I'm just thinking in my head, like, damn, you know, they're going through a hard time, bro. Niggas just want to see their homie out. Not thinking in my head, like, damn, what could this nigga have done, bro? You know what I mean? And he showed me, a, like, he showed me, like, a little news report real quick. Like, I was trying to like, bond my homie out. And when he showed me the news report, I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking sweaty. Let me put this fan on. And this was the dumbest shit that I should have saw. But when Buddy showed me the news report, bro, I didn't look into it. I just was looking at the phone. And all I saw was two suspects, one injured or some shit, bro. And I was like, but it didn't process in my mind. There's so much shit going on. But when I look back at it, bro, I'm like, bro, I should have just drove off. Like, because I ain't trying to help no murderer get out of jail, bro. You know, some shit or no killer, bro. I mean, it's the same thing, but 
You know what I mean? Like, no bad person get out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga probably did something to get in that bitch, bro, for a reason. So, I'm just thinking in my head, but, like, all right, bro. Like, let me just... I don't know why I was thinking in my head, let me help him out, but, like, some people, bro, just, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You can't be genuine to everybody, bro. You don't know people's intentions. So, basically, I pull over. The only reason I pull to the side is because not even thinking about the checks, and I'm not thinking if the checks are bad yet because, like, they're depositing it in my account. I'm just thinking, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not no stealing-ass nigga. Like, I'm not no robbing-ass nigga. So, if you put some shit in my account that I'm supposed to pay to somebody, like, I'm not finna run off with it. So, like, I went over there to park and shit, bro. So, I went over there to park, and then this is where the bullshit happens, bro. So, he came back over by the car. And then he was like, oh, um, all right, like, um, you can send it to the cash app. And then I was like, okay. And then he's like, it's actually a different cash app, different cash app. I was like, all right, that's cool. What is it? And then he was like, oh, I got it, I got it. This is another red flag I did, bro. Never let nobody that you don't know take your phone, bro. What, duh? Never, ever, never learn from me, never, ever. Y'all probably already know that, bro, but I was just being dumb that day. So... Basically, dude was like, yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. Let me just, let me just, um, let me search it for you. So, my dumb ass, I'm thinking like, all right, niggas gonna search a name. Not knowing that's, that's my, my cash app account, bro. Like, like, yeah, I got money on there from my bank, bro. Like, not thinking like niggas can just tap whatever, bro. So, dude doing his thing. He tapping, he tapping, he's tapping. And he's like. This is where the bullshit start coming. This from this where I, like my gut feeling came right. Like I knew I fucked up. And before I even, hmm, before I even like get to that part, it's crazy because like it's crazy because my ex was on the phone with me that day, and she was just like basically telling me like, yo, yo, like drive off, do not trust this nigga, bro. Like, cause I was on the phone, and like. Mind you, like, she was so right that day. And it's crazy because, like, when she was saying all that, I was kind of getting more nervous because, like, if you have your, if you talk on Bluetooth in your car, your car is on speaker. So, like, I got my window open and then, like, you know, the dude that's scamming, he can hear everything. So, the fact that he's hearing that and he still, I don't know, bro. Maybe it's just good finesse, bro. But in my mind, I was just thinking, like, nah, buddy too comfortable, bro. He got to have something on him. Bro, that was that's what the only reason like that was keeping me there, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I was like, bro, like I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to like you know lose my life over this little money. So basically, uh, he was tap tap tapping, and this is where my gut feeling came in, bro. Cause nigga did some like quick shit. He was like, he's like, whoa, I don't know what happened. Like the app just deleted your app. App never deletes by acting, cause if you. It's just impossible, bro. Delete an app by accident. You really, on iPhone, you got to hold that bitch down. Be like, are you sure you want to delete it? You, you got to literally press the X. Like, it don't happen like that, bro. I hope they didn't see that. I hope y'all didn't see all that spit that just came out. But, uh, basically, yeah, bro. Like, nigga, they like, oh, I think it just deleted. And then he threw the phone back in. Like, not, not threw it. But he tossed it back in. And then start jogging around the car. And then when he did that, bro, oh, bro, I knew. I, I, it didn't take me two seconds, bro. I knew I was finessed, bro. I knew it. I knew that shit. And basically, bro, like, I, I, first thing I did, bro, I checked my bank account. Boy! It was an additional 800 motherfucking missing, bro. I was like, bro, what the fuck? So I heard me downloading my cash app back. And mind you, these niggas pulled off already, bro. I wasn't even, like, I wasn't finna go on no James Bond high-speed chase, bro. At this point, I was just like, damn, I just got got, bro. Like, I'm I'm trying to see how I'm gonna get this back. You know what I mean? Because I was not finna, you know what I mean? Like, if it was physical money, maybe. It, it could have been possible to, like, you know, run down and get it back. But, like, I wasn't finna lose my life over some digital shit. Because, like, it wasn't like, even if I did pull up and then, you know... Beat, beat a nigga ass and like you know goddamn cause it was probably I think it was on his bitch phone Bonnie and Clyde ass nigga cause it was him and his bitch you know what I mean like shit would've I would've got shit you know I don't got no password I'm not gonna you know so I try to refund it that's all I could do at the moment and then I called my um my ex and you know she gave me some advice then I called my brother 
my ex told me to, you know, call the police type shit. You know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, if I'm gonna tell y'all some advice, y'all should probably, sh- like, y'all never get robbed or some shit like that. But I'm like, y'all probably should call the police. But my dumb ass, um, I don't, f- I don't like 12, bro. So, like, you know, I was trying to do anything but call them niggas, bro. And, um, basically, my brother gave me some advice. He said, um, just try to call my bank and talk to them. So, I called my bank and talked to them, bro. And, um, basically, I got reimbursed the money back, which was so good. Um, thank God, bro. Really thank him for that. And, uh, yeah, I basically got that reimbursed, bro. To make a long story, um, even shorter. But, shit, I hope y'all learn from that, bro. Like, that's basically all it is, bro. That's how I got scammed out. 1200 bro. But I got it back, though, so I don't know if it feels like a true scam. I mean, I, I guess I did get scammed. If I didn't get it back, it would have been, like, a full, legit scam. I mean, they still got what they got, so I guess I did get scammed. But, um, yeah, if y'all learn from that, bro, if y'all um can relate, I don't know if niggas can relate to that, bro. If y'all can relate, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Comment if y'all want more story times. And... Whatever other videos y'all want, like just comment them down. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and we keep it a haunch.